Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be making this uh, beehive box. This is a case from a group called 3D Thursday. Um, I believe it's a group on Facebook that uh, uh, anybody can join and, um, and get ideas from. Um, they have... Um, designers that of course design for their group so I didn't design this this is a case um, it was designed by Sherry Everett Bishop um, the only thing I did it is I put a little tag on mine because it also came with a card but we didn't I didn't do the card I'm just doing the box um, but this was one of the projects that was in my class um, this last Saturday so I wanted to show how it got done all right so you need a piece of Daffodil Delight, and this measures let's see, so this measures I thought I had it right here. papers together wrong. Yep, I did. All right. So this measures 6 by 11. And we are going to get our scoring tool. And on uh, the 11 inch side, we are going to score at one and three quarters. Three and a half. Five and a quarter. Eight and or seven. Eight and three quarters and ten and a half. All right, so again, one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, seven, eight and three quarters, and ten and a half. Then we're going to turn that, and on the short side, the six inch side, we're going to do two and four. All right. So uh, we have the, sh the half an inch over here. We're going to fold and burnish on all of the score lines real quick. The only thing about this glass mat is it's very loud. <laughs> so sorry. take off this little uh, half inch piece over here and all of that off and then I'm going to cut up on the score lines all the way up to that first score line. to remind you about celebration it's going on right now for every $50 that you spend you uh, get an item for free 
There are some items for, or if you spend $100, you can get that for free as well. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to talk to you about it. All right, so now we're gonna take our um, score, our piercing mat, and I'm going to use my stylus and I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to make a little tick mark in between all of these score lines. So what I figured out was that this should be at 7 eighths. So I'm just going to put a little tick mark with this um, stylus at 7 eighths. up at the top. Make, you can do this with a pencil as well. If you do it with a pencil, then of course you're going to have to erase it, so I'm just doing one less step here. All right, now we're going to take the ruler and we're going to go from that tick mark down to this first score line and we are going to score. So we're gonna do that all the way across. And you wanna make sure that you get a good score line, but you don't want to like uh, poke your stylus through the cardstock, which would be kind of hard to do because this is cardstock and not designer series paper, but it is pos possible. You also want to make sure um, to get right on these lines. If you don't have already have a demonstrator and need a catalog, I'd be happy to send you one. Um, I just ask that you cover the cost of shipping. Uh, I pay for the catalogs already, so I'll be happy to send you one. We are, I'm in southern Wisconsin, right on the border of northern Illinois. And we had a snow day. It's not really a snow day. It was a cold day because we are like way below zero. So I'm like, um, we had a snow day. So last one week ago today, we had a snow day because we were getting, um, or we thought we were going to get a bunch of snow and then it tracked differently. So we had a snow day for that. And then Friday we had a snow day. And we did get the snow. We got like a foot. And then we had off on Monday for Martin Luther King's birthday. And then today we had a cold day. So I'm like, um, yeah, I really don't want to go back to work now. <laughs> But it's supposed to warm up, so I'll be going back to work, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. So now, let's go ahead and put some tear and tape right up to the score line over here. You could use your um, stamp and seal. Stamp and seal plus would work good. All right, so now I'm going to go on the diagonal score lines and let's see, I want to fold those down. 
it e it's easier to do it now than after you fold it in half. So we're just going to fold on all of these four lines. punch and so that we have something to string the ribbon through we are going to punch a hole in the middle right here and then what I've been doing is I have just been folding it over matching up the lines there I'll come back to that one in a minute So we try and get the holes punched. All right, I gotta remember how I did that. All right, I guess I'm just gonna do two of them at a time there. take the liner off of the tear and tape and we can fold that flat we're going to have to take the hole punch again and punch in the hole that we folded now, this is, to me, the most difficult part. It's really not difficult, but, um, yeah. So here's the back of the card, or box. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And you want to kind of, um, I'm going to hold that for a second. I want this straight line and this straight line to kind of together and then it just kind of does a diagonal. Right. I don't think I got that quite right. Sorry if you can hear Hunter. He is home today as well, even though uh, he really, he had school. I don't know what happened. Um, somebody made a post, something about our bus company, uh, buses wouldn't start, and I don't know if Jason saw that, and... I don't know exactly what happened, but he should have been in school and he's not. But, you know, he's loving that. All right, so that goes like that. And then we'll put some glue here. That. Another 
I turn it over and I take my bone folder. I'm just going to kind of press that down. All right. Now we need a piece of the gingham ribbon. This is the black and white one. Let me put my and not the black and cream one. All right, so I'm going to do about 13 inches. I don't think we need quite that much, but it's easier to deal with more than less. Okay, so then we're going to uh, print, push these all in. Naturally wants to go out and I want it to go in. Use your fingernail. Keep it go in there. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to take some the ribbon. And I'm just going to push it through and pull it out the holes. I wouldn't use anything sharp because you're going to poke it through your ribbon. But this um, stylus seems to work well. In and out every other one. Oh, I have enough ribbon here. Before I did this, I should have put all of the paper on, but that's okay. That's easy enough to do. Alright, let's go over to this one now. because I want this to come out. All right. And now we're gonna pull it closed. All right, just like that. just gonna I'm just gonna do a tie right now okay set that aside for a second we need all 
of these little guys here. So the black ones measure black ones measure one and five eighths by one and seven eighths, and then the DSP measures one and a half by one and three quarters. So we have six of those, so I'll quickly. Adhere these together. And if you have a directional paper, make sure that you cut them the correct way. Because on my sample, I did not. I was thinking this really wasn't directional and then I got to looking at it and I'm like, yeah, it is, but that's all right. This is the Be My Valentine uh, designer series, or Be Mine designer series paper. Sorry, I think I keep getting out of frame. I have to remember to, to sit up straighter. One more. Take these and that's going to go on these little squares right down here so it would have been a little easier to put them on before you assemble the box FYI About you guys but I am ready already for this winter to be over hunter shh. we forgot already and these are the first storms that we've had so I know we're not we're gonna have more but I'm just ready for it to be done now one I've been feels like I've been doing laundry for days now I uh, sometimes are when it gets really really cold like this the pipes freeze downstairs they don't really freeze but it does make it difficult to do laundry and um, so I've just been keeping the laundry going. All right, so those are all on. I took a piece of basic white and the, what's this called? Double oval punch. Uh, usually I punch this out after I um, stamp it, but I already had that one punch, so I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use the Be Mine from the Be My Valentine set. Let 
me see. Alrighty. And then we will adhere this together with the black scallop. And I'm using some of the Adhesive Backs Hearts and Flowers. This comes in this suite. And I think I'm going to use, on my other one I did the blue. This one I think I'll use the pink. Put that right there. And then I'm going to take my hole punch again, and let's punch a hole. See both of those, and then this can go through here. not the best bow that I've ever done, but it'll do for now. There we go. All right, so here is the one that we just made. And here is the one that I made earlier. I think I forgot anything. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.